Hi, I'm Jamisa Brown. And I am Misha Kozak. And we are part of a generation that does not vote. Voting right is one of the most fundamental rights of any democracy. And we are a part of a democracy that uses voting to give the power and authority to the people. So why don't we take an advantage of such an amazing opportunity to have an impact on our society? First, let's take a few steps back and talk about the history of voting. Before 1920s, women were not allowed to vote, and 19th Amendment fixed that. Before 1965, African Americans were allowed to vote, but some states passed a law that they had to take literacy tests before they voted. That changed in 1965 when the Voting Rights Act was passed. Everything else changed in 1971 again, when the voter age was lowered from 21 to 18 by the 26th Amendment. So it's time for us, young voters, to go out and take advantage of our opportunity and go out and vote. There are over 11 million people turning 18 this year, so it's time for us to vote and make history again. Uh, many elections are actually lost by very, very small margins in the council. So if you don't vote, um, you have no impact. And if you do vote, you do actually have an impact, so it's worth looking into. I graduated high school in 1976 and turned 18 in August. This means that I was eligible to vote for president for the first time in my life. A lot of political scandals had happened leading up to this election, so my choice for president was based on an anti-establishment sentiment. I think there's a sense that the politicians are not caring about the actual issues, and that's a, a problem in any election. If you're just voting for the name of a candidate or the party of a candidate, you're not seeing, they, they don't see what issues you're caring about. And you all vote for the same candidate, and that candidate has no idea why you voted for him. So the only thing that's guaranteed in a democracy is that the most popular person will be elected. Did you know that according to the U.S. Census and the 2004 presidential election, only 19% of registered 18 to 24 year olds voted? And in 2014 congressional election, only 14% did. I believe young people don't vote because they have more things that they think is important in their lives right now, so they don't think, oh, well, let me go ahead and vote for a president or a governor. They want to focus on what they think is most important, which is their life. I feel like they feel really detached from politicians because me personally, whenever I see politicians, it's no longer who do I think is best for me, but who do I really dislike the least and who brings the most ideals. In 2008, almost half of adults aged 18 to 24 voted to elect the first African-American president. I think there was a real sense of being part of something historic. Um, you know, to be able to tell your children and grandchildren someday that you voted for, uh, you know, the first African-American president was a key part for many people from what I, I was hearing in the news. Okay, thank you very much. The future of the city, the future of the country, it all depends on people who vote. And we're giving it to you. I'm going to be 58 next week, and it's about time that we pass the, uh, the mantle along. And I think young people have so much to offer. You all are so engaged in so many different ways that I think it would be imperative that you get involved and help. There's a lot of different reasons not to vote. But could ignorance and political unawareness be one of them? Here's our fresco with the special report. Hello, and welcome to Popsy Quiz. I'm Al Fresco, and today I'll be interviewing students here at MC, asking them political and pop culture questions to see what they're informed about. I screwed up the script a little bit. The Avengers was one of the biggest movies of the summer. Can you name three Avengers? Captain America. Thor, Hulk, I can name all of them. There's Iron Man, or Tony Stark, Tony Stark. Um, I think the Hulk's in there, and Captain America. Now, can you name three candidates running for Maryland office? No. <laughs> uh, I actually don't know much about local government, unfortunately, um, but I do have a year to figure it out. Now that Halloween is behind us, can you tell me three flavors of M&Ms? Peanut butter. Uh, chocolate and peanut butter is all I would know. I'm not really into candy. Pe uh, no, pretzel, the regular kind of M&M, the peanut M&M. Now, can you tell me which three candidates are leading in the latest 2016 Democratic National Poll? Bernie Sanders, 
Hillary Clinton and um, the black dude. What's his name? What's his, ain't it a black dude this time? Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, and that's all I got. When you hear the name Donald Trump, what comes to mind? Really? Successful businessman. He's the big guy in the party. That's pretty much, um, he's the loud voice in the room. He should probably get deported. Now when you hear the name Jim Gilmore, what comes to mind? Jim, I'm not even sure I know who Jim Gilmore is. That sounds like a, like, it sounds like a professor. Like, I don't, I don't even know who that is. Nothing. I have no idea who that is. That's it for Popsy Quiz. I'm Al Fresco. And remember to stay politically informed. You never know when you might need to. Let's all take the opportunity to get our voices heard. If you don't vote, you can't complain. We need to look ahead, and we need to decide for our own future. So vote, because you can. And vote, because you have the right and the power to be heard.